and welcome. We're on one of the club waters today and we're with little Mitzi. Say hello Mitzi. Jump on your chair. Jump on. Chair, 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 chair. Right, we're going to crack on. What we're going to do is we're going to go, let's get this microphone in the right direction. Ooh, that helps. Okay, um, so we're going to crack on. Um, there's a good chance of some early carp, so and um, some chunky brain. Um, possibly some big hybrids and roach. So, what we'll do is we're going to fish the hybrid feeder today on a little short, short rod. We'll go through the cell and um, we'll crack, crack on with it. I'd just like to say big thank you to all those people who left those really nice comments on the last few films or all the films. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, please subscribe. Uh, it will go such a long way, you'll get notifications whenever the film's coming out. It's varied, it jumps around, it's not all about fishing, it's a bit of fun. Uh, it's just one lad going out fishing at the end of a hard week when you've been out work. So let's crack on with it and let's go catch some fish. Can you see me? Oh, I can see me. Right, what we'll do is we'll go through what we're using. First of all, rod. Right, we're using a 11, 10 foot 6 bomb rod, which is a TriCast TriCast XRS 24K. It's got around about a three quarter ounce, maybe a half ounce to three quarter ounce tip in it. We're using a Cadence 4000 reel with 0.22 diameter line, and we've got a 25 gram uh, group hybrid feeder. And on the end there, we've got a QM1. I think it's about size 12, and it's bayonet, and we've got about an eight millimeter big, or big, big orange wafter. So let's get it kicked out and let's go catch some fish. Mm -hmm. Three millimetre micros. I've soaked them, what, about 20 minutes ago. And what we're going to do is a little bit of additive. We've got some boily crush here, which they all use these days. It puts little sparkles in everything. So we'll, we'll give plenty of that. Give it a little stir out. And we'll get fishing. Right. Everybody's seen one of these. It's not really... They're not perfectly right them pellets yet, but load it on. Nice and tight. Really tight. Put my little baby right in the middle of my pile. Let's load her up. Don't want this, I want this tight. Might be in for a while. And we're all done. Let's get out of there. I've seen that coming then and I was just about to pick my mobile camera up, mobile phone, and uh, <laughs> it was now, uh, it, it slung around, I had no chance of, uh, of getting that, absolutely no chance of getting the mobile phone, so, <laughs> Four minutes, so it's nodding. Not sure what we've got there. It could have a small carp. It's either a small carp or a bream, um, or it could be a tench. There's always a possibility of a tench. I had a tench from here before. And it's a little carp. So, well, 
a closer look at him in a minute. Got a bigger net today. Last time I fished here, I didn't bring a big enough net, I don't think. Oh! What's that? Yeah, carp. Right, so let's have a closer look at him. Him. Lovely little carp. Bit of a long bugger. Hooked perfectly in the lip. Not the prettiest uh, thing. I must have a long stringy bugger. Graham is a bit, a bit of a long, long and <laughs> long and stringy. So we'll get him straight back and um, first fish. Let's get him back. I'll have that wafter back. I'll use it again. Yeah, he was um, wasn't doing too well, and then I put the feeder in the tree, so I'm giving up on that. We get on the waggler and see what we come up with. Taking a shot off to to his spot. Must put him somewhere. Must put him somewhere. Well, obviously I'm on the wagon. Right? I started off the red because the light levels seem to be good, you know, like that. And uh, dark water, and you could see it really clearly, but it was mm. crap. Well, sorry, it was rubbish. So I locked it to the red. It just feels more comfortable. Right? That fish the same as well. I've just sort of like just flipped it out. Same depth. So I'll fish that and see what happens. I mean, I've got that dotted. I mean, dotted. Which I don't think I could get away with if there was a lot of wind on it. There's no, there's no wind on it. There's no chop at all. Completely an idea what grab I should take. Just push it. A little bit of chop on it. Responding over there now. Small little rope. Let's 
Lima. There's all the pipes on the bottom there. Now there's this real the lining. It pulls the float slightly down. What happens is the, uh, the float stays under slightly. And then fish has come in and just touched the line. And the float just come back up slightly. So it knows, I know that it, I, I'm definitely got the, the bait just on the bottom. That. Can I hear you? Get in look. Yeah, I'm on them now. I'm struggling to. Um, I fed about three swims. One of them, the second one's all right. Roach and skimmer. Took me a while to get my arm in on the catapult. Get a bit rusty. Say again? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
fishy guys on the way down. These rudder are getting quality, getting them all on caster now, and uh, I'm actually fishing on the bottom. But you'd expect them to be on the surface, but they're chasing the bait down. I'm not complaining, I'll catch them wherever they want. <laughs> around. Right, we're gonna wind down on that. That's the end of the day I'm afraid. Go say hello bye bye to everybody on the camera. Say bye bye. It's been really good. Please uh, subscribe. Subscribe 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 please. Uh, it's hard work that you don't get many subs subscriptions per film. Give us a sub and hit that notification bell and there'll be lots more films to come in the future and I'll see you a lot later. See you bye bye Mitzi. Bye bye.